Hello everyone, welcome to Effie Channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. In this episode, I want to show you guys the new updated way to face tracking. If you have any iPhone that later than iPhone 10 that has this uh, true depth sensor, which you can use for the face ID function, then you can use your iPhone to track your face. So right now, maybe you can see some kind of difference. I'm using VC face with this iPhone tracking my face and then using this app called Ydio and I will compare e I will compare what myself using the VC face with iPhone track and without it. I see the difference and I will show you guys how I did it. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, now you can see I'm using the iPhone to track my face. iPhone is on my iPhone. I download this app called Ydio, and then you can see the biggest difference you have is the eye eyeball moving when I move my eyes. This is really cool because I literally feel when I'm using my. When I'm using this uh, VC face now, I move my head more flexibly and then my lips are sink more flexibly. Also, it's the eyes that I'm not dir just directly looking at one direction anymore. I can move my eyebrows. I feel like when I'm like smiling, it can kind, kind of capture the smiling motion. And later on, I'll show you it when I not using the face tracking how it look like but yeah let's see like now i'm having the lead motion and then we see face and then the iphone face tracking this is how it looks and i'm showing my um physical body and face physical facial expression as well you can see the difference <laughs> i really think this smiling part is good you can to kind of see my emotions and then when I look this way I my eyebrow is like looking this side the side face looks legit very good I like it and when I get closer doesn't really have much difference I just love how accurate it is okay then now let's move to without Connecting. Okay, now it, I turn off the iPhone face tracking part and I just connect with the computer webcam. So that's what I'm usually do. Now you can see my eyeball doesn't really tracking well. Plus when I move my <clears throat> plus when I move my head, it feels a bit lagged somehow slowly slower a little bit slower and my um when i smile <laughs> it's a bit weird <laughs> i didn't realize until i compare with it you can you can like take a look at the compression see when i look this way my eyes are keep looking that way i can't really look at the screen when i'm actually looking at screen but my avatar is looking far somewhere far i think that's the big difference and that makes such a big big difference for me because when i'm moving around talking to you guys i can really feel um more real when i'm using the face tracking device so this is yeah wow it is very different if you don't look closely if you don't try to if you don't compare i don't think you can see to tell the difference but I, let me know if you guys can really tell difference because I think it would be cool to have like more accurate face tracking for VTubers or anyone using their avatar to communicate with their audience. Mm. Hmm. Huh. This eyebrow. Okay. But I feel like eyebrow movement seems better without a face tracking 
I need to go back and check again. <laughs> Didn't really pay attention for the eyebrow. There's so many apps out there do face tracking. We're experimenting so many things right now. Also, we're working on a video compare with different smartphone face tracking app because I've always wanted to using Instagram stories to like announce new videos or interact with my audience with my avatar. So I wanted to try any kind of smartphone um, apps. I will compare a couple of apps in the next episode that which face tracking app, um, app is better if you wanted to just record with your phone and talk with your audience. And yeah, stay tuned. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back and now talk, talk about how we did it. Okay, now I use the face tracking again. Actually, the eyebrow is working pretty well as pretty well, I think. So what, what happened with how this is works is because on the app, the Ydio app that I'm talking about, they have a, a VNC protocol. VNC protocol stands for virtual motion capture. So when you download the app and you have to connect you have to connect the VNC protocol to the VC phase. So when you go on VC phase, you will see on the setting part, there's one button uh, uh, you need to check. The one button you need to check is VNC receiver. So once it's received, once it's received by VC phase, it's good to go. Two things you need to know is the IP address and the port number. Once you have these two things, it's very easy to set up. Mm, it happened to us. Sometimes it doesn't work well. It doesn't receive right. It's because of the security. So if you just wanted to use for a certain amount of time, you can turn off the firewall. Cool. So yeah, I think I think from now on, I want to use this new face tracking way to record all my videos because I can totally feel like most of my emotions are showing pretty well. And then I think we did some research. They also have this, uh, so it seems like if you can add more blend shade into your avatar face and make it has more emotions with the VMC, VMC protocol, we are hoping to work on it and make more emotion showing on my face, but I don't know how long that will take. <laughs> So far, we're just exploring with all different kind of apps. Like I mentioned before, especially with I with a new smartphone, that you can we can do a lot of like short videos that right away you can record yourself talking through social media, and then I also explore some augmented reality ways to show my avatar around the city, around anywhere I want, because it's put your avatar into the real world. That's a lot of things to explore and keep. I will keep you updated and stay tuned for the next couple episodes. You will be fun. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know. Comment on my video and let me know which way you think it's better. And explore by yourself which face tracking is the best you like. And I hope this video is a bit is helpful for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for new updates every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.